How's it going today guys? This is Upside Down Ace and today we're taking a look at the new 2013 Boss 302 Mustang. Now, to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the way this car looks. I don't like the front of it. The sides are okay. I don't like the rear window back there. I'm sure it improves visibility, but who cares? I mean, bleh. Who needs visibility? You're in a Mustang. People get out of your way. I like the taillights. The taillights are really cool. They kind of look custom out of the factory with all the blackness and the redness and all of it. But I don't really like it. But there's good news because this car is really customizable. You can put Ford bumpers on it and they really just don't do much to it. Or you can put Roush body kits on it. So let's take a look at what the Roush Mustang version looks like. So guys, now we're taking a look at it with the Roush body kit on. You can see the Mustang logo is gone from the grill. Some of you immediately might raise a white flag there and be like, screw this body kit. But I like it. It's a lot cleaner on the grill. It got rid of that rear window and put some like fins and gill looking things on there. So I like it a lot. Um, and then we get to the back here. You know, we see the lights again and there's like a Roush signature on there and just that ass of that Mustang is huge. It also put a new rear spoiler on there and just a little bit of new kind of looking paint job deal. So nothing, just some big changes. There's the new side skirts on there. It's hard to notice that's included with the gill fin thing. But other than that, that's the big changes of the Roush thing. There's also a Roush hood. Uh, it's a big hood scoop. So I prefer the Mustang as a Roush. Roush. So let's take a look at it on the track. All right, so now that we're on the track, I decided to take it back to Road to Land, the same place I tested the Camaro at, the new one. If you haven't seen that video, check it out on my channel. Um, there's a lot of differences between the Camaro and the Mustang. Obviously, they're different cars, but this feels like there's ice on the wheels. There's a ton of wheel spin off the line if you really go after it, and then in the corners, it just wants to go every direction. There's oversteer, there's understeer, there's torque steer. Every type of steer is in this car. It makes it fun to drive, but you need to be awake because you will go off the track pretty easily. If you really put the hammer down on going out of the turns, it, it really just wants to just go into a drift, which might make it a good drifting car. Uh, you know, for all you drifters out there, I'm sure you would probably love the boss. Now, performance-wise, it's packing a 5-liter V8, 444 horsepower, does 0 to 60 in 4.6 seconds, has a top speed limited in real life to 155. I don't remember what the top speed in Forza is, and I don't feel like looking it up, so we're just going to go with that. It weighs 3,600 pounds, so it's a lot lighter than the Camaro, but there's less horsepower than the Camaro. But there's also good news saying a lot of butts. There's good news for all you Mustang loyalists out there. This can be replaced, this measly 444 horsepower engine, with the Ford stock car engine. It's 825 horsepower. Uh, you know, it's the race car engine. So basically, you can have a Roush Mustang that's 2013 with a Ford stock car engine. Of course, it's still going to handle like a greasy weasel. But... You know, if that's where you're going to go with it, that's great. I hate the way this car handles. I hate the way it looks stock. It looks good with the Roush on there. Uh, straight line performance is pretty good. The Ford stock car engine is awesome. It can be taken up to R3. So there's a lot of upgrading potential in this Mustang. So guys, that's the review. If you enjoyed it, please like it and leave a comment down below. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.